Nigeria have represented key criminality, if corruption, especially in Biafra land and against Biafra people. We have seen and witnessed several and thousands disappearance of Biafra people where they are kept from Biafra land and taken to far away northern Nigeria and other parts of Nigeria and locked up, imprisoned, without trial, without any justification. And for that reason, the Biafra government will be taking a very decisive steps and decision today in order to bring that impunity to an end. On this note, I am moving a motion this afternoon without wasting your time, a motion to give 72 hours to the Nigeria state let me re-echo this once again, that Biafra is a great kingdom, that Biafra is a peaceful land, and Biafrans are peaceful and lovely people. So just have that at the back of your mind. Having said that, earlier this week, there was a news that was flying around that Simon Ekwa asked people to stay at home, people in the southeast to stay at home Monday and Tuesday. And, you know, it caused a lot of commotions. Of course, some of you know what happened. If you have not watched it, I posted it on this my channel. Go, just go back to the video I posted last on this channel and watch what happened. All right. So lately, Simon Epa came out and said no, he didn't ask people to, you know, stay at home on Tuesday. That he only asked people to stay at home on Monday. Now, come and hear the information that Simon Epa is passing this time around. And that is why I always tell people to subscribe to this channel because on this channel, we bring you authentic informations and the things you need to hear what is happening in and outside Nigeria. All right. You need to, you have every reason to subscribe to this channel because we bring you informations. All right. So I, before I show you the video, I want to, first of all, thank this guy that is called Simon Ekwan. You know, he has put the, uh, the memory of Biafran nation in the minds of so many people without him. I believe that a lot of people, especially since after uh, Mazen and Kano has been adopted, and so without the works that Simon Ekwan has done, so many people may have forgotten uh, what is called Biafran struggle and Biafran nation. All right. So I thank him for, you know, once again, reinkinding people, reinkinding in the minds of people the, 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 whole, the struggle for Biafran nation and the Biafran nation itself in the minds of so many people so i thank him i think he's doing a good work though so many people don't like him for some reasons which is normal everybody must not like you for you know anything you do everybody must not like you there are people that will stand for you and there are people that will stand against you so but for me i think i give kudos to him for the good works he is doing so i don't know about you do you like him or do you not like him? You can drop your comment on the comment section, all right? So now I'm going to tell you the latest information he has passed, which is he's giving some, you know, he's giving some um, order that will take effect uh, from Tuesday next week on the 29th of next week. So if you're in the Southeast, you have every reason to watch this video to, to, to the end. Even if you're not in the Southeast, you have every reason to watch this video so that you know what is happening in the homeland. All right. So he has given an order. The order will expire on Sunday, but the effect or the actions, according to him, will start on Tuesday, being the 29th of October. All right. So watch it. As you are watching it, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hello, cabinet members of the Biafra government, honorable ministers, head of department. I welcome all of you today. Without wasting your time. I would like to let every one of us here to know that the impunity of the Nigeria state is coming to an end by various decisions and various steps and measures that this government will take in order to protect, defend our land, protect our women and children and our properties and lives. For this reason, Nigeria have represented anarchy,
criminality, evil, corruption, especially in Biafra land and against Biafra people. We have seen and witnessed several and thousands disappearance of Biafra people where they are kidnapped from Biafra land and taken to far away northern Nigeria and other parts of Nigeria and locked up, imprisoned, without trial, without any justification. And for that reason, the Biafra government will be taking a very decisive steps and decision today in order to bring that impunity to an end. On this note, I am moving a motion this afternoon without wasting your time, a motion to give 72 hours to the Nigeria terrorist state to return every single Biafran that has been kidnapped from Biafra land and taken to somewhere in the northern Nigeria and the southern on the western Nigeria and beyond for them to be returned back to Biafra land with immediate effect. In addition to this, failing to bring back any Biafran and all Biafran that have been kidnapped in the name of arrest or with whatever nomenclature, after 72 hours, we will evict every judges that is not from Biafra land, residing in Biafra land. We will also lock down the entire court that represent Nigeria. We are going to lock down the court of appeal, you know, the judicial court. We will lock down the court of appeal, Oka judicial court. We are also going to lock down the court of appeal, Enugu judicial division. We will lock down the federal high court in the entire southeast to start with after that we will proceed to the south south we will also lock down the entire national industrial court in the entire southeast and south south comprising of biafra after this we will move to customary court so anybody that is in this court and you are not a biafran you are serving you are sent or posted to biafra land to come to biafra and preside over any case Believe me, after the, after the time that we are going to be voted for today, after that time elapsed, your security will not be guaranteed. Our demand is very simple. From Mazinam the Kano down to the lowest person must be transferred to Biafra land with immediate effect. We will begin to correct this impunity on the issue that when somebody is alleged to commit a crime, there is a jurisdiction. If you claim that somebody committed a crime in the southeast as you have given them, the person must be tried in that jurisdiction in the southeast. Somebody cannot be abducted from the southeast, sent to northern Nigeria, where he will be denied access to justice, he will be denied access to lawyers, he will be denied access to everything. You lock the person up where the so-called crime were committed in a different region, that is ending today. The Biafra government will be voting on this particular issue I have mentioned. So, my fellow cabinet members, as a government, it is a, it is a priority for us to protect the interests of our people, to give them justice, fairness, equity, which Nigeria government have denied them. On this note, I move a motion to give 72 hours to every judges of the Court of Appeal in Oware, every judges of the Court of Appeal in Oka, every judges of the Court of Appeal in Enugu Judicial Division, every judges of the Federal High Court in the Southeast and South South, every judges of the National Industrial Court in the entire Southern region. If you support this motion that the Nigeria government is giving 72 hours to repatriate and return every Biafran that is being detained somewhere in the Northern Nigeria and beyond. After 72 hours, these judges must vacate, must vacate Biafra land with immediate effect. If you are for this motion, please 
Can we see your hands up? And uh, the media team, can you put everybody on the screen so we can be able to see the hand before we go into our electronic voting that is not available at this point? Thank you. Simon Eber is in charge in the southeast. Simon Eber determines what happens in the southeast. If you are yet to surrender, me, I have surrender. I have given it up to Simon Eber. He is in charge. All these mumu where they were caught up and down, where they call themselves governors of the southeast, they are not in charge. All those, all those charlatans where they call themselves governors, they are not in charge. There is no point deceiving myself. I have surrendered to Simon Eber fully. He is in charge. He is the leader of the southeast. He determines what happens in the southeast. Whatever he says stands. Look at what Soludo did. The other day he went to the market and started embarrassing himself that he has ended Monday sit at home. Today what happened? The South is witnessed the craziest, that is the most strict sit at home I've ever witnessed in my life. I'm in the East, I'm in Ibo land. And I'm telling you, Simon Eba is in charge. I can even argue that the federal government have, have given it up. They've surrendered. Just that they don't want to admit it publicly. That the pro Biafran forces are the ones in charge in Igbo land. I, 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 I concur with Asari Doku, but 100%. There is no point keeping Nan the Kano in detention. If the federal government cannot protect the lives and properties of the people of the Southeast. Did you see what happened in Igbo, Oka South? Did you see what happened in Igbo State? Did you see what happened in Enugu State, Enugu Patakot Expressway? Did you see what happened there? Nigerian government is not in charge in the southeast. Let us not deceive ourselves. Nigerian government is not in charge in the southeast. The people in charge in the southeast are pro Biafran forces. If you want to do something in the southeast and you are looking for the, the authentic authority to discuss with, it is better for you to find a way and discuss with Simon Eba. He is the leader of the Southeast. He is the one in charge of the Southeast. Nobody they breed. First come, first collect. Nobody they breed. Eh? Me too, I don't see believe. The recognized power and authority in the Southeast is Simon Eba. As it stands today. When you discuss with any Southeastern governor or all these Ohanes and Debo, you are doing that to your own detriment. <laughs> the sit at home, Monday, Tuesday sit at home is the highest I've ever seen. And it is happening at a time when Governor Soludo is declaring that he has ended Monday sit at home. And this is happening. Nigeria federal government, you cannot protect the lives and properties of the people in the southeast. And you are still holding them down the canoe. For how long will this continue? It is unfortunate. You know that song that Ashake and Fireboy sang? They never see me coming, see me coming. That is the song I am not singing for the federal government of Nigeria. It's not like I'm in support of anything that is going on uh, in Biafra land or anything, no. But what I'm trying to say is that I don't think that the federal government saw that somebody will rise up after they have arrested Mazen and the Colonel to start to challenge them. I don't think they, they saw it coming because what Simon Epa is doing right now <laughs> is almost coming out as a shock to the federal government of Nigeria. But you see, I would love to ask us to do one thing. First of all, let us pray for the people of Biafra. The video just watched right now, I believe he heard everything that Simon Epa have said and everything they have said in this video and everything that is playing out in the country, especially in the East. A lot is going on right now in Nigeria. The Biafra agitation is gaining momentum every day. They have gotten to the point where they can say we are going to shut down this state and they will shut it down. They have gotten to a point where they say this will not happen and it, and it will not happen. Like the young man uh, uh, mentioned there, he said that the federal government have already given up. But they don't want, they don't know, the, they don't want to admit it. I am not going to say that that is the truth. I am not also going to say that that is lie because I don't stay in the East. So I don't know what is actually going on there, the state of things or the situation there. All I hear is just uh, hearsay, hearsay, news here and there and all the rest. No major 
uh, uh, channel or television station have come out to say okay that this is uh, how things are that the federal government have actually uh, given up so i'm not going to really comment on something i myself don't actually know or i myself don't understand but you see this issue of uh, biafra and all the rest this is what i always say that if nigerians will not treat these people fairly if nigeria as a country will not treat the Igbos fairly why not let them go that is my uh, that is what i always say because if you say i am a problem to you you should let me go because i've watched a couple of videos where you see people say that Igbos are the problem of nigeria Igbos are this Igbos are that my my point is my in fact my submission is this and my own opinion is this let these people go simple as a b c d you cannot come out every day to say that i am your problem i am your this i am your that yet you are still holding me in your house it doesn't make sense for me i will never understand that so some people try to make me understand but me i will never understand it i will never understand it if we say okay, we don't need these people let us ask them to go let them go and form their own biafra and be there to do all and to, to continue doing all that thing we are accusing them of that is my own you will not say eh, they are the problem you are still keeping them there is it that we enjoy the complaint we enjoy complaining that uh, they are the problem so we just want to be seeing them to be complaining so i, I will never understand all those things I will never understand all those things. You see the way Simon Ekpa, the way Simon Ekpa is going about things. <laughs> uh, he has mentioned that the Biafra agitation is not something that is going to take one day. It's not something that is going to take one week. It's something that is not a, a race. It's a marathon. It's something that will take time. It's something they will fight for for long. So I don't know how it is going to affect. Uh, the east how it is going to affect the people there and all the rest i don't know but i pray that god keeps them safe somebody was telling me uh, someday when i was telling them that how are the people in the east coping with all this pressure all these things happening here and there that this thing is happening this is going on here this is going on here because i believe one word or the other it will affect the individuals there somebody was telling me that they are, if uh, for change to happen for a good change to happen that there must be sacrifice that some people need to pay price as i, my, I, I was asking what uh what if they finish paying this price and they are not able to recover from it that is just a, a a question but i pray that god will strengthen them god will help them to go through not just go through grow through this phase of life because uh no matter how you see it human life is precious we need to value and respect all human beings equally regardless of tribe regardless of uh, religion and all the rest we need to value everybody equally so i would love to urge that we should do well to pray for the people in the east and, and also pray for our country nigeria if you look at what is happening in nigeria right now you will see that the country eh, mm, is not just happening in the east though. the entire country is messed up the entire country is messed up the leadership of this country they have failed nigerians they have failed nigerians we never expected that nigeria we we fall down to this point when buare left i will always say this i thought that that was the worst we are ever going to see that nobody will come out to to repeat what buare did during his time but little did you know that <laughs> we are going to face wars what is happening right now if they had told me that it will happen i would say it's a lie if they had told me that what we are seeing right now, the shaker we are seeing right now, in fact, the hell we are facing right now, we are going to see it, I would say it's a lie. I don't know why things are like this, but I pray that God strengthens us to help us cope with all these things. It's, it's not easy at all. It's not easy for most people. It's not easy. But God is going to see us through because Nigeria is frustrating almost everybody. Nigeria is frustrating almost everybody. You go here, problem. You go here, problem. You go here, stress. You go here, wahala. Nobody, people can... I don't know, I don't know, but let us just keep praying for the country. 
Let us keep praying for it because I know that uh, some people may not like it. So anytime I say pray for Nigeria, I get some funny, funny comments. But I will never stop asking you to pray for Nigeria because Nigeria is our country for now. Yes, you want to divide, no problem. But for now, we need to save the country we are currently in. We cannot damage the one we are in right now, the one we have for the one we are looking for, for the one we don't know when it will come. We cannot do that. Imagine burning down the, the house you are living in because of the house you want to build. What if you never build that house? So these are the things that sometimes when I say pray, I, I think about it. It's not, uh, 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 yeah, you, you are this, you are that. Nobody, I am not anti Biafra. I am not. My oath is that let the will of God be done in Nigeria. If Biafra will come, if it is the will of God, nothing can stop it. Me, who am I that I will say Biafra? He does not. My opinion self eh, does not even really count. There are people that are supposed to make this decision. So whether I say let it come or let it not come, if it is the will of God, it will come. Whether you, you cry, you let Biafra come or let Biafra not come, where if it is the will of God, it will come. Because whatever, nobody can stop whatever God has designed. The, the, the earlier you know this, the better for you. I cannot stop what God has designed for Biafra. I cannot stop what God has designed for Nigeria. I cannot stop what God has designed for anybody. There might be delay, but it must surely happen. It must surely happen. So all these things that uh, you don't like Biafra, you like, mm -mm. all those things, they are not, you, 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 when we say pray for Nigeria, it's not because uh, we don't want your, your Biafra to come. No. It is because for now we are in Nigeria. So I cannot contribute to the burning down of where I live for now. After I'm doing that, what will not uh, happen? Have we thought about four years or five years after? So all these things are some of the things that when we are saying pray, 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 it does not stop you from agitating for Biafra. Praying does not stop you from agitating. My own is, okay, as we are saying, okay, Biafra should come, let us be praying for the betterment of Nigeria so that this country, or you want to, you want Nigeria to be in a total mess and you live. At least, Nigeria can see countries are dividing. That countries are dividing without war. Nigeria can still be happy, can still be good, and you still divide. It can still happen. It can still happen. So when I say pray, please, I beg us, let us do where to pray. Nigeria is our country. Nigeria is the only country we have. So all this uh, sentimental argument, this, that, 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 you hate Biafra, you don't hate Biafra, let us stop it. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Let the will of God be done in this country, Nigeria. And let the will of God be done for the people of Nigeria. If it is God's will for Biafra to come, let it come. If it is God's will for Nigeria to remain as one, let Nigeria remain as one in peace and in unity. Period. That is the prayer I pray every day. I don't, I have never come out to say, oh God, let Biafra not come. Oh God, let Nigeria scatter. I will not pray that kind of prayer. It is only the will of God I want to be done in this nation. Because God is perfect. He knows what's best for you and I. Some of us may be agitating because uh, we are angry. But God is not like that. He does not do things based on emotions. He does the best thing. He's a perfect God. So, I will place all these things happening in the hands of God. He knows best. He can, he can help us come out of this situation. He can help us come out of it in the best possible way. We are no lives will be lost, no properties will be damaged, and all the rest. So all these things are things I need us to understand. Don't say you don't like us, you don't like I love everybody. I am not going I one thing I will never support eh. It's nonsense. I will never support evil. If Nigerians have been saying it, the Nigerians, the way they treat some Igbos are not fair. Igbos. The, the, the accusation that they are the one scattering Nigeria, they are doing it, is too much. I will always speak against that anytime I find it. Anytime I find somebody talking about it. I will always fight against tribalism. Because even me, I, I sometimes see people talking about my tribe. In a very wrong manner. A certain and entire tribe. People you, do, you barely know because you encountered few people. 
it is it is it is totally wrong me i will always condemn all those things because you cannot be abusing a tribe talking down on a tribe sometimes just to feel that oh my tribe is better sometimes just to feel superior it doesn't make sense it does not make sense so please i i beg us let us be patient and let us pray and wait on god violence is not the solution to anything fighting is not the solution to anything in whatever we are doing let us not think about just today think about tomorrow so let us pray for biafra pray for Samuel ekpa pray for uh, bola metinibu pray for nigeria pray for a uh, fat pray for our political leader for god to touch their heart the bible said that the heart of uh, uh, kings are in the hands of god he can turn it whichever way he wants so let us pray for them for god to strengthen them for god to use them to make help this country to move forward let us pray that prayer and as we do so i know that god is going to meet us at the point of our needs in the name of jesus pray for nigeria god is going to meet us at the point of our needs don't say nigeria does not consign me nigeria does not do this nigeria does not pray for nigeria sir pray for nigeria man it is our country nobody will save this country for us it is only you and i it is you and I. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do have to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell. So whenever I post another video, you'll be notified. If you turn a subscriber, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. May God bless you. May God reward you in the name of Jesus. When you call for one, may millions answer you in the name of Jesus. Please don't forget, share the video and also share the platform. Share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. I'll see you in the next one. You are blessed. Mm -hmm.